After you create an Excel workbook, you might want to protect it so that people can't change your formulas or your headings. Now, if I protect this worksheet right now, everything will be locked. And I want people to be able to enter a date or select a product and enter a quantity. But I don't want them to be able to change the formulas. I've got a VLOOKUP and I've got some multiplications and a SUM formula. And I don't want those to be changed. So I'm going to fix this worksheet so that these cells will be able to be changed after I protect the worksheet. So right now the worksheet is not protected. And on the keyboard, I'm going to press Control-1. So I've selected the cells that I want people to be able to change. And in this Format Cells dialog box, I'm going over to the Protection tab and Locked is checked. That's the default setting. All the cells are ready to be locked when the worksheet is protected. So we're going to change these so they won't be locked. And I'll click OK to close that. So now these cells will not be locked when I protect the worksheet, but everything else will be. So on the ribbon, click the Review tab and then click Protect Sheet. And you'll get a little dialog box letting you set some of the options. So you can change some of these if you like. I'm just going to leave it as is and click OK. And now on the worksheet, if I click one of the cells that I left locked, if I try and type, I just get an error message. However, if I come to one of these cells, I can change a quantity without any error or I could choose a different product or change the date.